Hey everybody. Okay, I wanted to do a little bit before work on this and then I will come back after work and do the actual covers. So, this is what I have for my covers. This is the first one. Definitely feels good now. And this is the second one. So yeah, they've nice and strengthened. And um, what I'm gonna do is use on the cover the cards as part of the decoration. So I'm gonna use this on the cover of this one and this on the cover of this, this one. I think either that or I will use this. I haven't decided, but one of the two. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, is I choose, I want to do kind of natural neutral, though this is going to be the plain Jane and this is going to be the plain Jack. <laughs> and this one has the map stuff on it. So I thought the plain Jane, that the sum of this material would be really, really good on it because it's, it's very pretty. And I would actually just use like this, a piece from that I've already cut out right here because, <laughs> let me take a look here. Um, if you come up here, I can see that it will cover the whole expanse of this with no problem. So I'm going to be, um, going to go ahead and cut that. Let me just grab my scissors. do that. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to cut the size that I want. It doesn't have to be straight or anything. Um, some of it I'm going to use some on the front and some on the back. Okay, so that's that piece. Some will, I meant like the binding. Some's going to be used for the binding. All right. <clears throat> so that's going to be part of this. I just think it looks, it looks so good um, with it. I really like it. So probably I'll do maybe this part right here for back here and then I'm gonna do some of this um, for up here and then I will do probably like that so that's kind of how I pick it and then I use um, I'll either use this for trim or I'll use this for trim and then I have um, buttons here. So uh, because the writing in here has that color in it, um, I'm tempted to use as uh, the buttons I like to use, I just glue them on as um, something to add. Actually, look at that. That is very pretty. Very pretty. I like that button. I think I'll do that button and I don't have I mean I have some green button greenish tinted buttons elsewhere but um, I might okay actually maybe this one okay so probably these two buttons and probably a little bit for sure I think this material for sure this one for sure so that's my plan for that one so I'm gonna set aside the pieces that will go with that particular this particular journal and now for the other journal this one 
I, let me see what I want to use. On a journal like this, I like to use a little bit of canvas. So, or a canvassy type material. It's a very um, strong material, and I just like to use a little bit. So I'm just gonna cut off the piece I want, and then I can put that away. These are these materials I got at thrift stores, so you really pay. It's so much cheaper, you guys, so much cheaper. So let's say I'm using this um, for part of it. This will be cut straight too, and I'll use some of this. Then what I wanna do is I'm gonna use a piece of this leather type stuff. There's a greenish tint to this, so I have to keep that in mind with what I use. Um, I just use different things. So, probably I kind of like to cover, like, the cover, and then just come back, um, you know, do part of the cover or something. And then I usually like, to, what I do is I would like to do the binding, and then I like to kind of come over a little. But not this one. Let's pick a different... Let's pick a different one. Um, I have this. Mm, here we go. This is the type of thing I like. Just like that. So, I'm going to cut that. All right, and that gives me my pieces that I need, okay? All right, so this one will be something like this. Um, and then I will have like that. And then probably I'll be doing something in here. Anyway, these are gonna be the main, the main pieces to this will be right here here. However I decide to do it. Um, I haven't got it all situated. And that means um, I had thought of this, but um, I don't, I think the answer to this one is no. So this one will get put away. And I'd rather go with my natural fibers um, on this. So I'll probably do something with this string and maybe this one together. Uh, this is the type of thing, just I like to use two different ones. So I'm gonna set those aside for that possibility. Um, and if I actually, cause now I've got a pick, so let's go like this. All right. And then I wanna look at my buttons and we do want to create a little interest so it's not totally, oh, look at this is perfect because this is mapped. <clears throat> kind of has an explore issue to it. This button has an anchor on it. Oh, and the other thing I have to remember to do before I even start decorating is punch the, um, punch the covers <clears throat> for the hole before I put more stuff on. But anyway, oh, wouldn't that be perfect, you guys? Look at this button. It's got an anchor on it. It's really cool. I got this at Goodwill in a bag of buttons. So that button for sure. And then I'm thinking a metal button. Definitely a metal button like this one. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is perfect. I love that. Okay, we're settled. <laughs> I have it settled. This is what I want. Okay, so this cover will get these things. So I have that all figured out. And I will put that aside. So now we have the two, um, everything we need for the covers. 
and it'll just be kind of arranging them. So now when I'm sitting here and I'm figuring out, okay, what do I want to do <clears throat> as far as um, where I'm going to punch? And since this measuring board has a center all the way around the zero, it's so much easier to center something. And this looks like about where we want it almost right there. So I'm going to put a dot there. And then what I'll do is I'll punch this one first. So I just take my baker hole punch part and this is um this is a crocodile so this will it punches the holes here and then you do your um grommets all right so there we go so now what i do generally speaking is i just go like that and the general idea is to see where you actually made your... <sighs> hmm. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't see it. Where is it? Okay, there we go. Because you want the... Uh, you want this punched first and the pieces in there first before you get too far. Um, it's just a good idea. And then you can do your pieces. And I obviously am going to do, I'm going to do this goldish color. See, I have to get more now because now I'm running out of some of my, the ones I like. Do I want that or do I want the rose gold? I'm just gonna bring this over here and look. This will be for the green one and this will be for this one. But yeah, definitely need to order more of those. That's for sure. Okay, um, next. <clears throat> I just put it in. So all you have to do is screw this one on. Probably I should just do it this way. Okay, so that one's screwed on, and then um, you get the proper color of the grommet, this one, that's going to go with it um, on the other side. And let me find all the pieces I need. And then I just do um, kind of a... Uh, what I use to fasten it, I will show you when we're making get to that point. Um, but need the flat piece. Sometimes these are hard to get at. You know where to go. <laughs> I got all the top pieces, but the flat piece I'm having trouble finding. A little part that goes on the back. Oh gosh, where is it? There's one. Ugh. This this piece. <laughs> it's not easy sometimes, you guys. All right. So the next thing I want to do is um, I'm not going to do that grommet part yet. Um, that just takes more time. But I want to do this this part. So. We will do the same thing 
and um, go about here. There's that one. And it does, I mean, I'm not going to lie, it does interfere with your pocket a little um, here. So your pocket's limited a little bit, the slip pocket, but it doesn't, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. It doesn't harm it any, right? It does not. All right, so let's just do this one. Um always these things to pick out of your there we go <laughs> you know when you punch it doesn't come right off okay and one more so we'll do the same thing you just line it up here and line it perfectly. And it looks like I put it right there. Yeah. Plenty of pieces to do in the making of one of these. Okay, that is for sure. All right. Alright, so now we'll do this hole here. Okay, I had to get all that stuff out of here. <clears throat> Alright, let me take care of the mess I'm making. Alright, and then we will put the hitch that we want here. Oops. Here we go. And then, um, this is the morning before work, so I have to stop now, but when I get back from work tonight, um, then I plan on, um, Decorating the cover, showing you how I'm going to put the cover together, my thought process as I do it, because I don't know yet. All I know is so far I've picked out some stuff that I want, but that is all. So it's coming along good, you guys. And tonight, then I will do the decorating and uh, put the two videos together and do the cover. All right, see you in a second. Hey everybody, okay, back to work on these. So, I wanna do this one <coughs> first, excuse me. Oh. <coughs> I swear. <coughs> so, as you know, I had picked out this and this and buttons and some trim. And so let's see how we do today with this. Oh, and I need my scissors in case I have to cut. I mean, I will have to cut. It's not an in case. So I'm thinking I wanted to do like this. So let's just... Um, Just gonna see if I can tear it. It's not easy to tear. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I was thinking that this would be really pretty back here as the piece, and I have to cut this. And that is just about right. I just need to even her up a little. <clears throat> okay. 
Here we go. And we're just going to cut off a little bit there. Perfect. And we'll just do a tiny trim here. And I know it looks like we're going to have a lot of raveling. Um, we will have some. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. And I'm not going to worry about it because it's going to get glued down really good. So, uh, get that off of there. All right, so let's get this first mess. I'm going to try and use hmm, this bottle where it broke. <laughs> oh my gosh, this glue, this whole glue nastiness is a mess. Because I put that wipe over it and... Uh, there we go. I'm just trying to use up as much of this as I can. So we'll just see what we can do. I still don't totally know how I'm going to arrange this part of it. And we'll kind of uh, just see how that, how that goes, right? And after the covers, this glue is totally done. Okay, here we go. Because you can see it's so thick. It's just thick, 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 thick. But it'll stick really good, right? That's the one thing about it being so thick. I can get it right to the edges um, very nicely. Ooh, that's a lot of glue, you guys. <laughs> wow. All right. And we will put that down very nicely. And that should take care of any of the raveling because the glue the glue should hold all that so we don't have so many, don't have raveling issues because we don't want raveling to go on. Okay. So my hands are getting absolutely full of glue. Mm. <laughs> it's such a mess you guys I'm such a mess all right so here okay we can see that it's going good here here it is a little bit over what I want to do is I'll take my other bottle of glue which is not so old and I'm going to to make sure that I get in here well. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do is just make sure I put a piece of that trim right down here. Um, so I want that to go here and it perfectly fine that it's going to um, be sticking up a little. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, and that's perfectly fine because it doesn't need to be perfect, right? All right, let's turn it. Let's see what I think. All right. Yeah. So that just goes up to those black marks. And that, I like the way that kind of brings, helps neaten up that edge. This edge is not a problem. We're just going to let this edge be like this. Okay. And we just have to kind of come and... 
get off that extra bit of glue that has stuck. But otherwise, I think it turned out really nice. All right, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with this. All right, so it's just gotta it's gotta dry. Yeah, and when you fold it, it's perfectly fine. Okay, great, so great. Later, I think I'm gonna come when that's dry and trim right there. Just feel like it's stuck down a little sticking out a little too much so I'm gonna trim it okay Whew. I'm getting so much glue on my hands all right so what I have now <clears throat> I really like that cover I have this trim and I was going to put it here um, but now I'm kind of I'm not sure exactly what I want to do because um, we have this up here, of course, and we have this down here. So we kind of have to figure out what to do because we got to cover. We have to cover that up, obviously. Um, so it is kind of a dilemma. It's a dilemma. I'm not really sure what to do about it yet. I have some other paper. <sighs> okay, I have to do it this way so I can actually see what I'm doing. And let this dry up nicely. Okay. So, do I put this right here and trim off um, a little bit of this <clears throat> so that it's bordered by it's bordered by this? I kind of like that idea, just to bring it right here and just in so I want to do the trim right trim it right there so let's do that and see if we can get this exactly the way we want it All right okay so now um, let's do this let's see if this does this little edge Okay, that's actually perfect. Now, the only thing I do want to do is I would like to kind of get it so that it's a little bit distressed looking. I think a little distressing will help it uh, blend in just a little. Which is actually, this is nice because it does give you um, kind of a a label for the front so you can just go ahead and give it a name what it's for or your name uh, whatever you want to do that I like that a lot okay so the next thing um, we'll get that on later <clears throat> the next thing is to figure out well maybe I should put it on now let's see we'll see how far we get before my husband comes home because then when he comes home look at this I almost want to oh my gosh I almost want to do that <laughs> oh no what am I going to do <laughs> it's so hard you guys oh why did it have to have such a cool side on the other side? Oh my goodness. I don't know what to do. Dang it. It's like, <laughs> why, why? Why did it have to look like that? See, I kind of want to go like this. Um, I 
All right. I kind of want to go like this. I, I like this part right here. Isn't that just the best? Because the it's not going to pull anymore because that's the end of the fabric right there. So I do like that look a lot. As you can see, it could definitely be a tad straighter. All right. Yeah, I'm really, really liking that. Um, shoot. How oh, I am just like stuck. Like, what do I do? Do I put this here? And then do I take this? Um, maybe I need to take this and put this here. And look at how perfectly this is. Perfect. This is what happens when you're doing this. You just, you know, merrily go on your way. And then you discover, like, something else that is going to work really good for what you're doing. <clears throat> and you have to change you have to change up what you were going to do to something else. So that's kind of what happened here. All right, so let's just go ahead and I'm not going to ink this side up as much as I inked the other side. I don't think it needs it as much. But this one, this one will get inked up really nice. It's a work in progress and it evolves it really does evolve as you do it because you can come up with other things that you really like um, the way they look and so you change you kind of change your plan okay I'm just gonna I think this bottle has pretty much had it I don't really know what to do to I just feel like it's done. I'm gonna, I think I'm just going to get rid of it. Let's just go over here to this nice cloth. So this is what I'm going to do is just put this down. Okay. And here. And this should take care of some of the raveling. There'll probably be a little bit. Um, that's okay. It can only ravel so far because of the glue that's already down. So it's not like it can really do a lot of raveling, you know. But I will put enough glue to discourage it to a point. We don't want it to have too much. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. It doesn't matter. There's a tiny bit of black, you know, the black of the lettering showing. That's okay. This is a junk journal type thing after all. Right? I have I have so much cloth all over me. It's just insane. Then we're going to do, oops, we're going to do this piece, okay, which is going to go uh, the girls are playing outside on the courtyard. You can tell the weather has improved. All right. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I can't even tell you how much I love this. <laughs> I just like it. It really makes the... Okay. I think I'll just work on this, these till my husband comes home and then 
Maybe I can get more than both covers done, but probably just one done for sure. I'm really, really liking the way this looks, you guys. Right? And then all we do is we just slip this right here and just press it down a little. That really lent itself, didn't it, for a frame? I mean, it really made a difference um, for framework on this. I'm pretty, really happy with it. There we go. Now that this one is stuck down, it's a good idea for me to do this, I think. There we go. I just think it, it really helps if you can do a little bit of pressing and then we'll, thank goodness this glue just kind of peels off, right? It dry, You can dry it like this and it just comes right off. It's the most wonderful, most wonderful. There we go. And here. Make sure we get it all. We got a little bit more. Just want to be sure there isn't any, because it does clean it up nice if you can have a clean edge here. Okay, very nice. Oh, I'm super happy, super happy. Okay, I got two buttons, you guys. And <clears throat> I think what I want to do is go like this so I can, and I didn't decide if I wanted to use this, but I don't think it lends itself totally. Well, you know what? It doesn't actually hurt, does it? I think I like it. Let me see where I need to trim. Looks like right here. Yeah, I actually think that helps. Layering does do. I think layering really makes, can really make something look nice. Um, just adds more dimension to your, oops, to your piece, to what you're doing, I think. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then I have this beautiful, beautiful button that I kind of want to put right there or up here. And then we can put the other button. Oh, yes, exactly right. Okay, I'm super happy with that. Yes. Oh, I love these old buttons. You know, you can make, make it think so pretty with them. It's so nice. Look, this one's just beautiful. So my question is, do I do it like this? like that but now that I've done that uh, um, we're gonna do it this way that's the part I like I like that better I like the matchiness of it let's just put a glob of glue there I think that's gonna be the best way to go about this okay there we go oh my goodness so good Let's just move these extra pieces out of the way and see if we can do something for this bit of glue that's popping up on my bottle. Okay. All right. Okay, so that, I love it. I really like it. I didn't want to get too fancy and I, I feel like it's, it's fine. 
And there's the back. I love that. And like I said, um, I would do want to trim just this little bit of the book. I just feel like it's kind of messy. There we go. That was just a little bit too wobbly and now, now it feels better. Oh my goodness. I am so happy with that one. Love it. Oh my gosh. Okay. One, <laughs> one is happily done. Uh, here's number two. I think I got, oh, I don't know if I have enough time, but I have time. Checking my scissors. All right, so we had several things we were going to use here, and I just need to, you have to get the basics before you can do the trim. So um, there's actually nothing wrong with this piece, this up here, um, and I can kind of do something like this. Um, for this <clears throat> and I think I would go kind of like this actually and then put a piece of this not the whole thing just part of it um, it's kind of like how do I want to do it and I don't know if this stuff tears. You know, some things tear. This does not tear the way I want it to. Hmm. Okay, that's better. That is at least better. Not totally, but it's getting there. Yeah, and it can go up a little. Actually, that doesn't even matter. And since we're going, okay, we can take this piece off, all right? Oh my gosh, what a mess I'm making on myself. All right, so this can go just like that. And we can put this piece exactly like this. And I think I wanna cut this because I feel like it needs a little trimming. Okay, and then we need to trim this part. All right, and do we need to do any more? No, it's actually exactly where it needs to be. Just needs to be kind of cleaned up. Okay, <clears throat> so this is actually going to go like this and like that, okay. And I think what I need to do is on that hump all right and then I'm going to I'm going to soften the cut I don't want it to be all angled all right and I'm actually going to like this all right let's try this all right I like that and I like this. All right. Okay, so we got a little, got it almost where I want 
it. Um, feel like still a tiny bit too big. All right. All right. Okay. That's good. That's good. All right. Now, this is where I wanted to cover up just that part of it. Shouldn't have cut with these scissors. I know better than that. So, let's just cut fairly straight, but not totally straight. Let's go ahead and see. Then the question is, do I want to go like this? Because that's more about what this is about. Like here. So I could do this. And I'm going to be putting some string here. And then we just leave that instead of me putting this here. I think I like this side better. And I'm just going to kind of get the edges darkened. We don't want them to be too, want that kind of a, you know, there we go. So that's good. We can take care of that. All right. And we could put that up right up here. There we go. Give it that, that line, which is good. Okay. I like that. Um, I got the buttons, which, oh my goodness, I love the button. You guys already know that. And I think that button is actually going to go here and here. I think it will ground this part. So the first thing we have to, and then there'll be the twines. The first thing we have to do then is put this down. So I'm just going to put my glue down close to the edges and then some in the middle all right and we'll just put that here there we go I think that's good don't feel like it needs to be um, any more than that Okay, then we're going to take this one and do some glue. Okay, and like I said, we're going to put that, um, so the words are right side up, number one, because once I glue it, it has to stay, right? Okay. Then we're going to put this here. So let's let's get this baby down. All right. Make sure we get our edges really well, like this. Like I said, I can always rub off excess glue, so it's really important to me to just, you know, get the edges. And let's be sure we get this. this is important Come on. okay all right okay here we go folks here we go. Mm. 
Okay, let's bring this all over. There we go. Not the easiest, but <laughs> does work. All right, perfect, good. And like I said, I can easily trim and take care of glue afterwards. Um, just want to be sure, 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 sure this is stuck down. See how nice that looks? Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. So I'll let that dry and then I will take care of glue wiping and... Um, cleaning up all that stuff afterwards. All right, so the next thing, the last thing are these, this gorgeous, gorgeous button. Okay, and oh, the anchor, it is the best, you guys, just the best. I love it so much. And this one, oops, I'm making such a mess. I'm gonna have to take a wet wipe to my glass and totally clean it off after this disaster of glue everywhere. And then we'll put this one here, okay. And then what I want to do is, do this really quick before it dries. Um, I want this to be down. Come on. Oh no, I have glue. I have glue, so down there, so I think it'll hold. Stay there. Okay. That's that. And I had wanted to use a little of this glue, um, kind of, Let's see if we can get it to work, okay? Kind of want to do like this. It just kind of adds something to it. A little bit of, of the fiber, I think, is good. All right, so there we go. And I have to go back and get off, wipe off, you know, the glue on here. But I like it. I do like it. Yeah, so like you can see, I have glue. And I finished, I got them both done. Well, my husband came home. I just have to put the grommet on the back, but I'm not gonna do that right away. Just wanna be sure I got any loose uh, glue stuff off of here. Oh, I'm so happy with it, you guys. I love it. Okay, so we have two all done. There they are. So this one, more feminine. So the plain Jane, like this. And this one more masculine, the plain Jack, I'm gonna call it, the plain Jack. And I'm just going to go ahead and, oops. <laughs> I should have remembered that was not dry. Oh, Terry, 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 you have to let things dry. All right, 
obviously I did not let that dry and I needed to. Sorry about that guys. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. Once this glue dries, this will be like stuck on there like cement. Okay. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to just let it lay flat. So here we go. Our two covers. I'm so happy with them. It all came together. It always does. I don't really need to worry. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. And next time, um, probably be sewing inserts in. All right, bye.